Council of Rights will have a meeting of certification, and I'll do the pleasure of reading. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this time we have this evening to conduct the business of the city. God, I pray that you would uh, guide us and give us wisdom as we seek to serve our people as best we can. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, please have a seat. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. We have a special guest in with us tonight. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and introduce you, and you're welcome to say a few words if you'd like to. Uh, we appreciate it. If, we're not going to be going on tonight, so if you'd like to stay for a few minutes afterwards, everybody can introduce you to everybody in person. That'd be wonderful. That sounds great? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Mr. Mayor Lake, uh, Rolanda Patrick, Rolanda Robbins, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me here, Harley. Um, I actually had the pleasure of meeting four people up there already, um, which is which was nice, a DNA conference and some other events I met from... Um, Councilman Arnula, all the way to Attorney Tynes, um before. Uh, so thanks for having me. I actually grew up on Century Oaks. Century Oaks Drive is where I grew up. Um, well, I graduated high school and I moved on my career. <laughs> but yeah, I, moved, I was in, in the city. I was in Royal Robbins, but it was annexed into the city of Centerville. Um, so I want to make sure I told you, I used to be a part of the family. And I look forward to serving with the city of Centerville and all of the officials here. Um, and helping our area grow together and work on some really cool projects. Um, I've been watching Mayor Harmony for a while from afar. So now you'll see me watch you kind of up front and center. Um, I look forward to learning great things from you and, and working with all of you to help bridge the gap between the two cities and progress together. Excellent. Yeah, so that's the idea we have with the rest of the other. Yes. Yep. You can see the Central Oaks still has a water out of the Oh, that's the problem. Okay. Well, that's the problem we have in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. uh, I have other places here with water out of the mailing addresses. Water out of the mailing addresses in some of their areas. Oh, interesting. So, so it's interesting how it works. Well, the post office doesn't care what we do. The annexation does not um, have an effect on what the postmaster will or won't do. Oh, okay. And it was an annexation class where I met you. Remember that? With remarkable government efficiency on Century Oaks, because one half of the street is one of Robbins and one half of Centerville, they have two different postmen that live on the street. Oh. One guy drives down one side of the street and one guy drives down the other. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great use. Well, thank you. So, thank, thank you. We look forward to talking to you for this. Okay, uh, the door of the comments tonight. So we move on to the adoption of amendments. We have the November 2nd, 2021 regular council meeting, November 16th, 2021 council work session, and November 17th, 2021 planning retreat. I entertain a motion to adopt all three as written. So moved. Second. Yeah, motion and a second. Any discussion? I want to say that the, probably the best thing in here is these minutes from the uh, strategic planning retreat. That was a, a great day. I appreciate all the hard work everybody to get all of that work done in one day. I was looking through that earlier and going, man, we did all of that in one one session. That was impressive. That was. It really was. I'm going to keep a copy of those minutes too to me. Keep reminding myself of things in there. Okay. Um, all in favor, uh, say aye. All aye. Right. All opposed, same sign. Hearing none. The three minutes. I have passed. All right, next item on here is old business. There is no old business. It'll be getting close to Christmas. Yeah. And new business, number four, is a approval of the job description, special events and marketing coordinator, Councilman B. Hill and Direct Cooperation, Brumfield, please. Yes, sir, I'm going to turn it over to Director Brumfield. Thanks, sir. Uh, in the packet, you should have uh, new jobs, revised job description for the special events and marketing coordinator at, at council discretion. We have gone through and revised and updated this job description so we can hopefully fill the open position. And uh, we're here tonight to uh, ask council to accept this job description as written, revised. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, I had a motion. Yes, sir, uh, Mayor, I, I uh, make a motion that we approve this job description for special events and marketing for the year. Second that motion. Motion and second. Do we have any discussion on it? Everybody's had an opportunity to review them all. Okay. So I do want to say, Mr. Mayor, that uh, I did take a, a, a good look at that um, in, in all the changes that were made. Um, I think there were some that were pretty much uh, kind of administrative, but then there were a few in there that, that uh, really made a lot of sense. That's correct. And, um, so we really appreciate all the hard work and effort on that. Yes, they did a great job. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed same sign. All right, new job description passes. And we go to the next item here. Uh, approval of the Premier Staffing Agreement. Councilman Amigo and Director of Operations Bronco again. Yes, sir. Again, I'll um, be directed to Director Bronco. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, any packet again, you should have a copy of the agreement with Premier Staffing Unlimited. What this is, is in the water and sewer office, we are losing a very good employee. Should be leaving us uh, right before Christmas holidays this month. We have used Premier Staffing Unlimited in the past, and it has worked out real well with us. We, we've gotten two good, very good employees through them. And uh, with, with, with good things, though, comes cost. So the cost of using this, this staffing agency is $70.50, 57 cents for the position that we are wanting to hire for, which is the Water pay clerk, water clerk in the office. Uh, that, that that position starts at twelve fifty five, but it's a forty percent billing rate, so it's seventeen fifty seven total. And we want to enter permission to enter into this agreement to fill this position in the water office. Okay, I have a motion. So we have a motion that we uh, approve the premier staffing agreement as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? You're right, they're, they're an excellent company, done a good job for us in the past, and I, I anticipate to do the same thing this time. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. You have it, let's go get it. Thank you, Mayor. Ms. Baker, should, should I sign this or should he sign it? I, um, I had it on my desk. Hang on, let me look real quick and I'll tell you. <clears throat> I mean, this is from here in the American Times. Um, That's fine. Any questions? Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank you all very much. All right. Now we have comments from the council. Post one, please. Uh, I just want to say uh, we had a great time at the play this past Saturday, so thanks to everybody who helped make that possible. Um, it's my first time actually being in the parade. I've watched it for many years. Uh, it's a totally different experience, and uh, uh, my family and I really enjoyed it, and uh, hope we get it for more years to come. All right. Um, yeah, that was the, one of the more uh, enjoyable parades, but it was about 70 degrees. It was a lot more pleasant <laughs> riding than the verbal, uh, that particular parade. It happens in the past ones, but I just want to say uh, thanks to all of our staff for making that happen. That's such a it appears from the outside to just run so smoothly. I'm sure there's a lot of things that you guys are doing to make it appear that way, you know. So I appreciate everything Chief Jones does and uh, Chris is out sick tonight, but and, and many, many other people that, that make that thing run so well. So that's uh, just one that we're going to uh, we're going to see that parade continue to go for a long, long time. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. It's so, Mr. Mayor, you know, I just want to ditto everything that they said. Uh, the parade, it was so much fun. I mean, the whole time, watching, watching all the kids there, chasing candy, and, you know, riding and listening to Christmas music and, and waving at our constituents and, and folks around. It was, it was fun. I really enjoyed that. And, you know, this, this is the most wonderful time of the year. It would be great if, if all year long could be like this, but no, it can't. So um, we'll enjoy it while, while it lasts. And everybody out there, uh, happy holidays. Have a, a great time of year. Mm. Well, um, I have to tell you, uh, same as everyone else, the parade was uh, a great success. 
of several of the citizens that participated in, in the parade uh, had nothing but great things to say about it. Um, again, that parade wouldn't have been possible without the uh, events committee and, uh, and the department heads coming together and planning for it as long as I'm um, like this, you guys may have started a month out or longer to, to get it started, figuring out everything that you had to do. Um, the citizens and, the, and our guests who came to uh, be a part of that parade, uh, I thank them because the parade wouldn't be a parade without them and, and the participants. You know, we had a lot of participants. I think there was over 70 participants uh, in the parade. And so uh, it was It was just, that's what you see when we all come together. And, and we all enjoy what, what we can be able to do, uh, not only as a city, but as a county and, and a community. Uh, it was fun. It just reminded me of the old days, right? All the kids were running out, the parents were chasing after them. <laughs> it was just a great time. Um, I think, well, that's all I have, Mary, because um, I just wanted to wish everyone a safe uh, Christmas. Uh, I know that uh, this time of year, uh, crime is up a little bit, right, Chief? And so we have to make sure we encourage everybody to, uh, when you're out shopping, to store what you buy in your trunk or someplace that's not seen. You know, don't leave your purses in your vehicles. Anything of any value, don't leave them in your vehicles. Lock your vehicles, lock your, lock your houses. I mean, you've got to take steps to make sure you're not a victim. And and if you are a victim, you have to take the steps to make sure you call 911 and report it so that, the, so that law enforcement can go out and investigate and, and chase down the, the criminals. Right? Right. Uh, too often we have incidents where uh, things happen and they don't bother to call 911. So. I love that on next door on Facebook where people will post, I think there's somebody breaking into my car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happens more than you think. And I, I always go in there and say, you should call them. You should call the police department. I'm not post it on Facebook. Yeah. You let them know. So it's really the bottom line, right? Okay. Protect yourself. That's all I have, man. Thank you very much. But you're absolutely right about that. People need to lock the car at the nighttime, lock their garages. Because that's the biggest source of crime we have in some of them. It really is. Take a source. Keep them not locking things up. But that was the best parade I think we've ever had. We've had uh, 11 out of the last 12 years. And last year we didn't have one, obviously, because of the reasons. But the year before that, when we had one, we had drizzle twice during the thing. And it was pretty cold. I think it was in the 30s. So it was a. But people still enjoyed themselves. But this time, it was so nice that there were so many people out there. This is a first time I actually ran out of candy and I was trying to toward halfway through this I, I started slowing down a little bit throwing candy out because there were more people behind me but I still ran out before I quite made it to the end and uh, that's embarrassing <laughs> and I was trying to think I had two huge bags and Krista gave me a huge bag so that was a lot of candy that went out there you know, of course my grandson was throwing too so he might have been doing a little bit faster than I was yeah, yeah. yeah. you showed me that maybe uh, but it, it was a great event. I appreciate everybody. Please did such a good job. Right at the very beginning, I saw three police cars go by, and I said, "What's going on?" And then I found out, I said, "Okay, <laughs> they had to take care of." You know, it was, it was a great time. I thank everybody for what they did on that thing. Uh, Chris was running out there. I think she's paying for it now. We were getting a little cold from it, <laughs> but. I appreciate everybody very, very much. You all mean a lot to me. All right. At that point, that's everything. Council meeting now over. Just come up.